Hey guys, this is Divine here, and it's fairly obvious that I haven't made a video in quite a while, but because this video was so highly requested, I made the time and am making it now. This video is all about getting your server online so that other people can get on it with you and you can start your server once you have port forwarded your router and all of that good stuff. So let's get right into it. This is all client sided so we're going to open up our client files here. We're going to go down and find GUI.java. That's how you say it, GUI. It's a funny word. It stands for Graphical User Interface which makes sense if you think about the fact that uh, it is the main controller of all of the graphics in the client. Right off the bat, you'll find this line right here that says server IP equals. And in between the two quotation marks, you find 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. What that means is that you yourself can play on your local uh, network. And yeah. So in order to let people in online, once you have port forwarded, you're going to want to just replace this 127.0.0.1 with your IP address. How do you find your IP address? Uh, if you don't know how, there are some very simple ways. One of them is to just open up your web browser and go to whatismyip.com then your IP that you're going to want to be using shows up right here and so just copy that I'm obviously not going to put mine in right now even though some of you uh, uh, did already find my IP on the port forwarding videos and I'm like makes me sad anyway um, so you're going to replace 127.0.0.1 with whatever was in that uh, with your IP. Save that file then you're going to want to compile it. Now please also note that uh, JDK which contains the compiler executable uh, is updating constantly and so the compiler uh, that I gave you was current for the time now it's new. I have no idea exactly what version it's at, but it's going to be very similar. All you have to do is click on the compiler, click edit. If it asks you what program you want to use to edit it, just say uh, notepad. You'll find this here. We're going to go to um, OS, your C drive, most likely your C drive. Go to program files, then go to Java you'll find a f uh, one of you'll find a folder similar to these two I can actually get rid of one of those but I'm not going to so you can whichever one you have just select it and so I think it's like JDK point I mean JDK 1.7.0.1 or something like that either way you're still going to go into the bin and uh, you can see this called Javac, and that's the Java compiler executable. So you're going to just get this path, uh, maybe. Copy that path. You can also just right click, copy. Then open uh, your compiler again and replace this here. So it should end up looking something like that, except this will probably be closer to one point. It'll be close to that. But either way, it's the same method. Um, so compile that. One other thing that is desperately need you to listen to right now. The client, once you zip your client, uh, once you zip your client, which we'll get to in a second, uh, you have to make sure that the client you give your players, the one you put online for them to download, 
is not the same one that you have. This is because the one that you have needs to always stay with an IP of 127.0.0.1 because if it's not then uh, you are not going to be able to get on like right now if I go grab my IP real fast give it one second and then if I put it in GUI paste it in here, save it then if I go in Because, uh, for reasons I'm honestly just too tired to go into now, I've been so busy with school, uh, you cannot connect to your IP. It has to be 127.0.0.1 when you, as the person who has the source, is playing. So right now if I press run, get the client over here. And start up the source. Put in whatever. Then it's not going to let me in because uh, you, as an owner, are trying to connect to your IP. So just leave that at 127.0.0.1 and you should be all good. One last thing I have to talk about uh, is that. This does not work for all revisions, nor does it work for all versions of 317 servers. It will only work for Delta, uh, un non refactored, uh, non unpackaged Delta, and not all revisions. So, with that said, I uh, am just going to hope that everything works out well for you guys. And I will do my best to get on to answer your questions from time to time now that things in my life are kind of settling down a little more than they were before when everything was just... Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. 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 Thank you. Sorry guys, my bad. One thing that I told you that I was going to show you how to do was zip your client. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is left click on your uh, client. Then right click. You will see add to Renegades PK's version 3.1 client.rar. That, what that's saying is add it to this file. Because the file isn't there yet, it will make it. So just click that, this screen will pop up, and be right back while it compresses. Alright, sorry guys, I'm back. The, it should only take like a minute, 30 seconds, something like that. And then you'll end up with this file here. And that's that. You can go on to Mediafire. Uh, rapid share mega upload and upload your file, your zip file for people to use. Alright, guys.